Hello again, YouTube. This is the truth, man. Giving you the truth. Woo wee! I got a good one for you right now. I'm talking about wives. I I got a title right here. I might change it. My title that I have right here is How to Know You Have a Wife, Not a Roommate, Not an In-House Enemy, Not a Divider Strike. First of all, a lot of people are claiming to believe in God and be spiritual and this and that. But when it comes to a wife, the Bible was clear as to how a wife is to behave. The Bible is also clear as to some of the, the, the uh, ramifications and some of the uh, the backlash, if you will, if you are married to someone that's not a wife. Like sometimes a woman will start out as a wife and then she'll get bitter. She'll be upset at you over something. She won't let go when y'all had disagreements and it just build up, up, up. Next thing you know, she done slept with somebody else. She done had emotional affairs. She's holding grudges. She's criticizing you more. She forgets about all the things that you do for her benefit. And I'll tell you something. I don't, you can't, all these women talk, oh, I'm saved, I'm this. I know how righteous and saved you are. I know about your relationship with God based on how you treat your husband, not your kids. That's part, but not, most women is gonna do for their kids if they're not dealing with mental illness or something else going on. But how you treat your husband, because the Bible didn't say, well, didn't give you conditions. In fact, if you wanna get deep, it says whether he's harsh or whether he's good, whether he's gentle or harsh, some translations say. That's it's you supposed to be you regardless. And guys, here's the thing: if you can't get an understanding, then you got to get rid of her because your prayers gonna be hindered. Like if she doing her own thing, like she always pulling in a different direction. She don't respect you. She don't want want to satisfy you. She don't. She want to fulfill herself, not you. You have to get rid of her. And women, if you if you feel this way, right? If you feel this way, then what you should do to 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 possibly still be blessed is leave. Let that man have his kids, or or make some kind of agreement. Where y'all live next door to each other, you, you know, y'all divorced, but y'all raising the kids together um, or something. But don't try to take money with you if you didn't do the things that we're going to talk about today. Because it's like you you waving your hand at God, like in all the instructions that he gave you. When you don't do it, you end up divorced and you take alimony. Alimony is not scriptural. It's not biblical. That's that's the man's thing. That's that's the government's thing. It's not biblical. And you two, thanks for giving me this platform, but you, this stuff is going to get out regardless. You can't stop this train. So even if you try to, try to shadow ban this, this is what I'm going to be talking about from now on. I'm going to write books about it. Everything. Are you married to a wife or are you married to a roommate? Because once she stops doing the things mentioned in here, once she chooses to take contrary routes, the Bible says, Proverbs 18, 22, he that finds a wife finds a good thing and obtains favor from the most high. Now, in comparison, some of the scriptures I'm going to go to in 1 Peter chapter 3 before I go to it. It says you, you find favor with the Most High. Now, in 1 Peter chapter 3, it says that you be heirs together, dwell with her in an understanding way that your prayers be not hindered. You can't dwell with a, uh, a woman who's not been a wife. You're married to her, but she's not a wife. You can't dwell with her. Your prayers are going to be hindered, man. Your prayers are going to be hindered. You're supposed to be together or apart. Together or apart. One vision or separate vision, separate homes. 
So, let me just turn this this way. So, again, it says, he who find, that finds a wife finds a good thing. You find a wife. So you have to look for her. You have to vet her out. You have to know what she is. And the minute she, is, let's say she fools you. Let's say she starts out with this. The minute she gets away from it consistently, you got to turn her loose. Because you ain't going to obtain favor. Because your prayer is going to be hindered. Kids or no kids, you need God's hand upon your life. This is why you hear about guys that was in tumultuous marriages that get, they get divorced and now they just start bouncing back and they making six figures and they in shape and all. This, this is when that stuff happens. Because if you ain't going to be with a wife, then you should be by yourself. And don't let these Christian, these little fake Christians condemn you and act like you ain't gonna have sexual needs. You still gonna have sexual wants and needs. So you don't get married to a non-wife or a person that's not wife material just for sex. Cause you don't know, she ain't, might not even, she out down the line, she might stop doing it. So, now, definition of wife. Woman covenanted to her husband, usually through the breaking of the hymen. It's another problem. See, a lot of women be having all these guys that they had before you, and, and they, they got you competing with all these guys. See, that's why when a woman, you young girls, save yourself for your husband. Save yourself for your husband. Now, if he don't have the traits and characteristics, you can't say, well, he, but he cute, though. He cute, though. That ain't enough for you to let him break through. Do we have any resources? We ain't talking about his mom and daddy. What do he have? What is his goals? What is his criminal record? See, y'all problem, y'all like them Pookie and Ray Ray's too much. And we, this ain't gonna be no too many videos, so get ready. Now, now let's go to 1 Peter. Then we're gonna break down some of the things that are mentioned in first peter chapter three it says in the same way you need to read chapter two to see what he meant by that you wives not girlfriends not roommates not people that's married that act like they single not disrespectful women that ain't doing these things that i'm finna read wives be subject to your own husbands that's why adultery is so steep with women. You try, you laid up, hugged up with somebody else's husband. The Bible says that whoremongers and adulterers, God will judge. So it says, so that if any of them are disobedient to the word that they may be won over, Without a word, all that talking, all that trying to get the last word, all that stuff, that's not how you do it. That's not how you do it. By the behavior of their wives, not by the words, not by you shouldn't have did this, not by you should do this, without a word. So all y'all, see, see women, when you get to standing on them, when you get to standing up, being the man in your house, they want to try to act like you ain't a believer. Like a believer is supposed to be a little punk or something. What did it say? It said that if he isn't saved, that don't give you a free pass to change how you do things. It says that they may be won over without a word by the behavior of their wives. That's why a lot of y'all husbands don't get saved. Because you talking about you saved, but you ain't showing it. It says, your adorning must not be merely, it's saying, and not be merely. In other words, it's saying you should look good. You should make sure you're looking good, make sure you're in top uh, shape, so on and so forth. But it's saying that shouldn't be it. The external braiding of the hair, wearing gold jewelry, and putting on apparel. 
but it should be the hidden person of the heart. Remember out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks? The way you look at somebody, I tell what you got in your heart. You, you, I don't know why some of these people think they fooling people. It's like they be so disrespectful sometimes that they think people can't see through this stuff. It says, with the imperishable quality of a gentle, not masculine. Who wants a masculine woman? Who wants a woman that's challenging them all the time? Who wants that? I'm calling you into question. Without a word. Now watch this. Watch this. This going I'm gonna keep reading. Watch this. It says, gentle and quiet spirit, which is precious in the sight of God. So remember with God. The opposites, everything is dualistic. So whatever is precious, when you do the opposite of that, is despicable. So it's despicable when the Most High sees women going back and forth, arguing and being disrespectful towards their husbands. So it says, For in this way, the holy women of former time, the holy woman. See, this is how holy women carried this up. See, you can sing in the choir. You can do whatever. I don't care about none of that. Wear stuff on your head. Keep the Sabbath. None of it matters. None of it matters. None of it matters. If you're not being this person right here, because it says again, it says, for in this way, the holy women of former times who hoped in God also used to adorn themselves, being subject to their own husband. If you desire to get married, but you're not going to do this, you're going to be a curse to somebody. You're not going to be a blessing. You're going to cause his prayers to be hindered. You're going to cause them not to have favor. It's going to be this, 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 all this little weird stuff. So it says who the holy women of former times who hoped in God. See, some of y'all, y'all just want to say y'all say. Some of you women are literally plotting against guys because you know they got money. You acting good now, then you're going to switch up so you can take some of his money. That's evil. That's evil. And that's why I'm putting this on Facebook. Because everybody want to be married, but some people is just not going to be this right here. So it says being subject to their own husbands, just as Sarah obeyed Abraham, calling him Lord. She obeyed him, calling him Lord. Now watch this, watch this. This is some deep stuff. Man, it's getting dark. Hold on, let's get a little light in here. Just all of a sudden it just got dark. Hold on. That's a little better. Now, Abraham had concubines. Abraham had multiple wives. Some of y'all, I gotta be the only one. Oh, I'm, he doing this. You listen to medicine. What's the song? The taste of his own medicine. She talking about all the stuff she gonna do. Talking about how would you like it if I do this thing to you or whatever she was saying. That's you. That's some of y'all women. But you wanna, da, 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 da. You, want, you want your dress dragging. You want everybody to look at you. You want gifts. But then when all the music stops, you're going to go back to that disrespectful 304 dot stank hole. Yeah, I said it. Now, because some of y'all, that's what you are. That's what you are. And you are just hiding it. You ain't throwing it away. you just hiding it. Because some of these women could care less what God say in his word. How much you read the Bible? Hmm? Okay, if you read it, let me ask you something else. How much do you practice in there? Because if you want, talking about, well, I'll find somebody one day. Okay, are you this right here? Let's keep reading. Let's keep reading. So, it says... 
And y'all gonna hear me going back to it. It says, Sarah, Ab obeying Abraham, calling him Lord, and you have proved to be her children. If you do what is right without being frightened by any fear. Now, look what it say with the husband. You husbands, in the same way, live with your wives in an understanding way. In an understanding way, trying to talk to them and stuff. But once you can't talk to them, your prayer is going to be hindered. If, if you, That's why they call it irreconcilable differences. So let's break back down. Okay. Now, what did the holy women do? The holy women were wives. The Most High said, it's not good that man be alone. He said he will give a help mate. That's the first job, to help. That's your job, is to help. Suitable for him. Which means this, what does it mean? If he has a high sex drive, what does that mean for you? You can, I'm just tired, I work hard. And I'm not, I'm not. You better figure something out. Because y'all little, I got to be the only one. That ain't even biblical, but we ain't going to, that's not the subject today. That, your pe people can choose to, monog to, to practice monogamy, but monogamy wasn't the way of the, now, look. It says, holy women. Sarah knew that Abraham had, not only did he have extra wives and concubines, but he was having kids with him. So what happened? She began to quarrel with one of them for whatever reason. And what happened? Did, did even though, um, uh, what's her name? Uh, was it, was it Rahab? Even though she was, uh, bound to Abraham, what did she do? Did she get alimony? No, she just left. And what happened? What happened? The most high blessed her. You see? He, he brought the, the, the children of Israel through one of the kids that she had with Abraham. Get, get out of here with that European stuff. Nothing against Europeans. I love all people, but I'm just saying it's not that's not from the Bible. So he said basically that they went over. Their husbands is not quite there yet. Those of you that got those type of husbands, without a word regardless what he does my grandmother was very good at this i know for a fact my grandmother read this she read this now we ain't gonna get into how i know i mean we got some things then in in my you know my mother's side of the family where i know that my grandmother was putting this these scriptures to practice you couldn't even eat until my grandfather got his. There's no way. Now, y'all people now, the grandfather had come home from a hard day at work and all the grandkids that ate up all the food. That's how y'all get down. So, but it said, without a word, as they observe, you're pure, pure, no emotional affairs, pure. You ain't sending people pictures of your private areas, pure. You ain't running off with dudes. You ain't got no work husband. Pure, 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 pure. Some of y'all, y'all want to be damaged. Y'all like a car with, with, with no catalytic converter, parts missing, and you want people to pay full price for the car. Get out of here. Because y'all don't, y'all don't believe, y'all don't want to believe this scripture. Y'all don't want to believe. If relationships was like this right here, there would be no divorce rate. There would be a lot of the crime rates in all these cities pew, down or non-existent. They just want to clap cheeks. One person. Two person. Still dealing with both of them. Now they finna fight. Don't fight over these, man. Do not. No. Don't do it, man. Don't do it. Don't do it. If, if he don't come at you and try to take off, as they call it, on you, do not fight over no female. I ain't never been the type to fight over female. Now, I done got into stuff because these dudes were simps. So they'll be like, like going, just, just going too far 
over these females back in the 90s and stuff like that. But I ain't never just initiated no fight. I done got and helped other people, you know, and and I'm looking at him like, dude, let's go, man. Why, why are you fighting this dude over her? She cheated on you. And I'm backing up friends and stuff like that over females, cheating females. It says your dormant shouldn't just be you getting French pedicures. It should be inside. What's on the inside? It says, or wearing jewelry, but of that of a gentle and quiet spirit. These women be calling their husbands punk mother cluckers. Y'all know what I'm talking about. And all kind of stuff. And he still got to pay the bills. He still got to, you a suck. Man, she get the disrespect to you. You need to... Give her a little time. Remember, dwell with her in an understanding way. Try to talk to her. I don't want to talk about it. you. You try to talk to her multiple occasions. She walk away, storm on y'all can't talk. It's time for plan B, man. It's time for plan B. You must not love yourself enough. You basically trying to She Your wife is really a roommate. She ain't no wife, but you trying to stay with her. Because some of y'all, you, you don't want your church, you don't want the church people in your business. You don't want your family in your business. Y'all got kids. You know, just move next to her. But the kids, that's not healthy. The kids seeing y'all going back and forth all the time. Y'all need to figure something else out. So it says, for in this way, again, the holy women, this is how they live. Meek and quiet, pure and respectful behavior. They look good, but they were quiet. Remember the song Float On? I'm a Libra. He was a Libra. He had he said he like a woman that's quiet. Carry herself like Miss Universe. Boy, those qualities right there. When you got pretty feet and you look good, and you 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 quiet, you you ain't no argumentative type you ain't no you ain't trying to be no man you trying to I don't know who you think you is you ain't supposed to talk to your husband like that it's more than just bringing plates do you know how to be quiet do you know how to be gentle is more than just looking good. Are you a flirtatious type? Are you the type that you nicer to other guys than you are to your husband? Are you the type that you respect other guys more than you respect your husband? And you need you if he's looking out for you and you like this, something's wrong with you, and you deserve a pookie. You deserve a pookie to come on here, girl. Then you can't find them for three days. That's what you need. That's what y'all fake phony wives need. Who guy looking out for you, doing stuff for you, and you can't show him no respect. You don't even like him. Why you with him? I mean, that's just evil. Why if how can you be with somebody you don't like? You see, and, and this goes back to the faith thing too. If you say you so connected to God, then why are you staying in a marriage with a guy that you're not attracted to? You don't like him. You don't respect him. But yet you're just there for kids or you're just there. Maybe you don't want to work. Maybe this, maybe that. That's evil. It's evil. Because you know what these type of women do? Back and forth. Back and forth. Back. You ain't going to do nothing but fight with them. It's gonna be like two rival gangs in the same under the same roof. That's what it's gonna be. Two rival gangs under the same roof. When you dealing, when you're trying to deal with a woman who's not this person is mentioned in 1 Peter chapter 3. Now notice, like, even if you read the story of what happened with Sarah and uh Rahab, or was it was it Haggai or Rahab? I gotta look up the name. I'm kind of confusing, like back. It was one of them. But 
her gripe wasn't with Abraham. She never, if you don't, you don't see her disrespecting Abraham at all. But they had such conflict amongst them that one of them had to go. Normally during those times, that didn't happen like that. But this particular time it did. And when she left, the Most High didn't stop the blessing on her. So that shows me what kind of person she was. Read the story, read it for yourself. It says, the women who hoped in God, like, see, this is why churches ain't effective too. Filled with disrespectful, unsubmissive, unsexual women who would come to church praising God and go home and not talk to their husband for weeks. It says, just as Sarah Abraham obeyed Abraham, calling him Lord, and you have proved to be her children if you do what is right without being frightened by any fear. You do what's right, you don't worry about whether or not he gonna leave you. You do what's right. See, they wasn't worried about that. Sarah knew she was connected to the Most High. She was gonna do things the way he want. And what Abraham did, it didn't affect her. She already knew she was gonna be blessed. Just like uh, the concubine was blessed still after she left. Meek, a gentle and quiet spirit. You see them all the time. Y'all ain't supposed to be giving y'all husband these looks. You see them all the time disrespecting and trying to be the leader. Women are not to lead. You, you got a problem with that? Take it up with God. He said that he shall rule over you. When Eve wanted to run the show, he said, okay, you done, you done messed up everything. So now he's going to rule over you. So you go back to the beginning. Where did having wives come from? It came from God. It came from God. What did he say? The man shall rule over the woman. So anything outside of that is who? Who? The devil. Anything about marriage that's not this right here, the devil. Remember, dualistic. Everything that's the opposite of God and, and what he said is what? God is good. The devil is evil. I mean, that's, that's easy. Like this, it's easy. It's easy. How do you got people stealing and killing all over the place? How? Because they don't obey they're rebellious. And a lot of y'all, y'all think it's sweet with God. You, you think you could just do whatever you want and there ain't going to never be no repercussions. There ain't going to never be no repercussions. Y'all lying at people's funerals. People dying, never said nothing about God, never served God a day in their life. And y'all talking about they in a better place. Yeah, if you call hell a better place. And these women... They done got blindsided by everything around them. And they trying to turn marriage, which started out as a business. Relationships are business. They're a business that was intended to mix business and pleasure. It was supposed to be a pleasurable business. But having kids and this and that. And what happened? What happened? Evil people sprang up, start, start purposely creating all type of diseases and stuff to, 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 and, and then people not being, having the favor. So all of this stuff going on at once. People embracing darkness, but then wondering why there's so much evil in the world. So all of you women, when y'all young girls, get it right, right then and there. Serve God right then and there, your whole life. First Peter 3, your whole life. Save yourself. That guy that commits to you in marriage, give him that package. Give him that package. Now, if he breaks the commitment that he makes for you, 
if he breaks it or he dies or something, and you, you can give that package to your next husband. But that little being unsubmissive, then you end up remarried. God ain't blessing that. You need to stop that. You're trying to manipulate God. Either be a wife or be a cat lady. Thanks for watching. This is the truth, man. The channel is No Matrix. No Matrix. Women lead men in marriage. No simping. All subjects channel.